Rated E for everyone. Sega. Hi, I'm Guy Wilde. Um, we've talked a lot about the sort of in-depth features of Sega Rally, and really what I want to do now is sort of talk about the specific game modes, the other modes that we've got we've got in the game. So from the, 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 the sort of start of the game, if I, if I go into the menu system here, we've tried to keep this all very clean, very simple. Um, we, we, we've used some nice sort of photographic type images that you can sort of, you can sort of pick between. So if I just walk through the different modes that we've got, I guess the key single player mode is this championship mode. Um, so if I just step into here, the first thing you've got is a choice of, of which group, which category of cars um, you're, you're, you're gonna pick. Um, the Premier uh, Car Championship, which is the four-wheel drive cars, is unlocked. Um, the modified two-wheel drive and classic um, championships are still locked, so you need you need extra points to unlock those unlock those particular particular classes. So if I go into the Premier Championship itself, it, it consists of a whole number of different leagues, and again, some of them are locked up. You start off with amateur and work through professional, expert, and through to a final but you need to score points in other, in other races before you can unlock these. So the Amateur League is the only one that's available now. And that consists of a number of different events that you can, uh, you can race in. It sort of shows you your points total uh, that you've, you've accumulated so far. And then you've got the actual, the actual events themselves. So the AZA Challenge here consists of, consists of three different races, one from Safari, one from Canyon, and one from Alpine. And your scores from those races, from the positions that you come in, will be, will be totaled and will effectively appear here. And you've got a number of different events. There's a Blue Star Rally, there's a Clubman Stages event, and basically your points from all those are totaled up. And basically the championship mode, accumulating points in the championship mode is going to unlock, uh, unlock new cars, unlock um, different, different tracks within the, within the game, and unlock sort of new, new, new car liveries, new, new features as you play through. So that's the single player championship mode. If I step back to the, uh, the main menu here. Now quick race is pretty much what we've been demoing in all the videos we've, uh, we've, we've, we've run to date. Um, basically, the first thing you get in quick race is, is you get a, an environment selection so you can pick which environment you want to race. Um, if, I, if I pick the Arctic environment, uh, you've got a number of different tracks within, within that environment that you can select from. Um, and it's giving you some information about, about the location and, and the time of day and the difficulty settings, as well as the sort of surface split. Um, and again, you'll see there are locked, locked environments here that you need, to, you need to unlock later on through the, through the championship mode. So if we select Arctic 1, uh, you, you then, down to car selection, you pick your category of cars, again, from Premier cars, modified, through to the master, the classic cars. So if we, uh, if we select those, you've again got a choice of choice of classic cars you can pick. So we've got the Celica and the Lancia from the original uh, from the original Sega Rally. And then we've got a Ford Escort Cosworth, uh, an Audi Quattro, a Peugeot 205, uh, and a Lancia Stratos. So you can pick any of those cars. And again, we've got classic cars that are locked that you need to score points in the Masters Championship and you'll be able to play those later. So if I pick one of my favorites, if I pick the, uh, the Escort Cosworth, you've then got a choice of, 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 of setup we basically simplified this down to two basic setups. You've got an off-road setup, which is going to give you uh, more grip and traction on the real sort of loose on the on the on, on the, the deforming surfaces, and then you've got a road setup, which is going to work much better on tarmac and much better on the harder packed, harder packed surfaces in the game. So we're, we're on snow; it's an Arctic environment, so I'm going to pick the uh, the off-road setup. And then finally, you've got a choice of liveries, and again, the liveries are locked. You unlock those in the championship mode. I'll select the default livery here. Okay, so the key thing we've tried to do with the AI is try to really make it as human as possible. They're all, they're all competing against each other. Uh, they're trying desperately to sort of get to the front of the pack. So you'll see them having little, little battles and fights between themselves. Um, they'll certainly get very, very competitive with you when you, you, you sort of catch them up and get with them. And they'll, they'll be trying very hard to overtake you and trying quite hard to sort of stick to their lines around corners. They're going to take full advantage of the deformation. They're going to do everything they can to sort of use the deformed line, this faster deformed groove that's going to form in the track. Um, this sort of uphill section here, you can start to see these lines forming in the snow. 
So basically, they're going to adapt as you as you as you carry on racing. As as the race progresses, as the track changes, these these cars are going to adapt to the changing environment. They're going to um, they're going to adapt to what's happening with cars in front of them. They're going to adapt with 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 you when you start to get near them. They're going to change their behaviour because they're going to want to make sure that they beat you. Um, and the moment you make a mistake, if you if you trip up on any corner, these guys are going to sneak past and uh, and shoot off into the distance. Okay, so this is um, going to show you the online um, online component of the game. And basically, we've got these pods set up in the studio. They're um, obviously all connected to consoles, all online uh, with, uh, with with steering wheels. And basically, this is how we test the online version in the game. This is obviously a lot of fun for us to us to play and us to try out. This is exactly the same as the uh, as the online game you're going to play at home. Obviously, we just we just test it in the studio using this sort of setup. Um, seems to work pretty well. So uh, okay, we'll, we'll we'll start a game now, and you can see what it looks like.